Hola, como esta everyone? How is everyone doing? Abrigato. And also, I would like to say, Dunkeschen. So, the topic of this video is, well, let me go out and put all this disclaimer, so to speak. I'm not an, uh, I'm not a, an attorney. I'm not an advisor. I'm certainly not counsel or a amulet chaser. So, in saying that and clarifying all of that good stuff and whatnot, to all my brothers and sisters, let me advise you, given the topical and current cultural climate that's happening right now, if you have any sort of entanglements with law enforcement, whether it's, well, it's not likely that they're just going to, you're going to be walking along the street and they're just going to walk up to you and start asking you questions. That's not the way it works. But if you are pulled over for any, or detained for any certain reason or whatnot, okay, I need to ask you, or at least request that you just let the process take its course. Please, shut up, let them hand you your ticket or citation for whatever it is that they invented that you violated or whatnot and have your day in court. 90% of the time, that infraction, that whatever it might be, will be thrown out and you can live your life accordingly, moving on moving forward please under the circumstances do not run do not give attitude do not give this boisterous or at least dubious sort of back and forth okay because at the end of the day anybody with a pistol ordering to ordering you to do anything and you don't have one Guess who has the upper hand? They do. If they told you to put on a big floppy dunce cap or take off your hat or whatnot, unless you were packing and they are, you better tell them, you better ask them, how high do I need to jump? And this, by in no stretch of the imagination, is anywhere you retracting or or at least, uh, how should I say it, um, giving up your stance or your, you know, your, your liberties at, at will, trust me, okay? Unless you have the means to overpower law enforcement, which you don't, over a traffic stop or an infraction, take your L, have your day in court, and get that ticket thrown out. It's not worth losing your life over. Look around you. The climate is tense. Okay? And this is not a, this is not a stab or a jab, <laughs> pun intended, against any sort of law enforcement and dedicated men and women who are doing what they need to do in order to get home to their families. By no means. I grew up and skateboarded with a gentleman who is now, or at least currently, law enforcement, okay? My high school sweetheart married a, shepherdy, uh, a shepherd's deputy, okay? She left me for this guy, and which, well, silver lining, she obviously loves structure, but aside from that, I digress, okay? Martyrs are don't exist or live long enough to see what's been done for them or about them or in their name, okay? Dead means dead, period, okay? And if you have a, a rap sheet or a record, again, at best, the probation officer will probably be like, don't let that happen again. Be a good boy or girl or whatnot. It's not worth being riddled with bullets. 
And even then, you could literally throw a rock at a lawyer who will literally be like, nope, 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 we're going to fix this one. We're going to fix this one. How much do you need? How much do you want? Million dollars? Two million dollars? Exactly. Okay? So again, to all my brothers and sisters, okay, to recap, all right, if you are ever approached by law enforcement in any predicament or circumstance or whatever, please do not get righteous. Please do not flee. Please do not make the situation worse than it needs to be, especially if it results in your untimely demise because you're not going to be around. You're not going home that night, period, in a discussion. And yes, I know that there are some cops out there that would make better swimsuit models than actual cops. And that will rule itself out eventually. But between me and you, okay, I want you to stay safe. But most importantly, I want you to survive this. Period. And on that note, we've got some unsponsored well, at least unsupported reading here tonight. So, the first one is uh, Secret Lives of Great Composers. This is a great book. I'll probably include the link, or at least a, uh, how you can find it in the description. Maybe I want, won't, because uh, Google's your friend. You know, stop being lazy, guys. Second one is, and this is my favorite, from uh, Carter G. Uh, Woodson, and this is uh, the good old Miseducation of the Negro. I highly recommend this book before it's no longer available. That being said, as always, I want everyone to be safe, to be decent to each other, and as always, stay awesome. Peace out.